bloodshot eyes. At times, I feel like people think that I may be on drugs, and that's absolutely not the case. I have no idea why I suffer with the intense bloodshot eyes. The procedure that will have this guy in the clear. All new on The Doctors. won't stop hurting, an itch that won't stop itching, and ears that won't stop ringing. Don't worry, because today we're telling you what to do when it won't go away. The following program contains images of an actual surgical procedure that may be graphic and disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. Whenever you see someone with really bloodshot eyes, what are you thinking? They're tired, hungover, computer strain, drug abuse? Well, after struggling with the stigma of bloodshot eyes for more than five years, James decided to do something about it. In my early adolescence, 12, 13, 14 years old, my eyes started to get red on a somewhat frequent basis. Over the years, it got worse and worse, and in just the last six years or so, it's become a constant. It's very difficult for me to uh, go about my daily life with these intense bloodshot eyes. Visibly, you see the bloodshot eyes, but I'm also experiencing a lot of pain. At times, I feel like people think that I may be on drugs, and that's absolutely not the case. I have no idea why I suffer with the intense bloodshot eyes, and it's really where I say to myself, you need to find a way to fix this. What we found with James is that he has a condition of chronic bloodshot eyes or chronic conjunctival blood vessels. I am nervous about the actual procedure. Now that his eyes numb, we're putting in lubrication plugs and this helps with the healing. Very good. Okay, so first step I'm gonna do now is hold your eyelids for you. I'm actually removing first these two thin strips that are going to mark the zone of the membrane itself. So this is now the membrane that we're going to separate off the surface. Removing the membrane is a, essentially like removing the outside layer of an onion. Are you having any pain at all? Are you pretty comfortable? No pain. The membrane covers the surface of the eye, so it's protective. Let me feel a little heat here for a moment. That's why it's important that the body will regenerate a new membrane, which it always does. James, we're all done with your right eye. So there's a brown pigment spot right here, also a sign of sun damage. It's gonna be gone when we're done today. Okay, so we have this side of the membrane taken care of, and brown spot is gone. James, we're all done. Awesome. James is here with us. Fully recovered with his surgeon, Dr. Brian Boxer Walkler, also known as Dr. Brian to his patients. And uh, before we get into this, pretty, pretty intense footage there. I want to show everyone a before and after. So smile into that camera. We're going to pull up your before picture and do a little side by side. Because I'm seeing some sparkling white eyes there. You've obviously looked in the mirror. Of course. What do you think? Uh, I mean, like night and day. Uh, I, I can't believe the transformation. I, I couldn't even have hoped for what I got. Dr. Brian, let's talk, number one, what causes bloodshot eyes? Well, the short answer is that it's years and years of sun damage. What happens is that when people are kids playing around outside, nobody's really wearing sunglasses because parents never think about protecting their kids' eyes from the sun. Now, of course, they think about protecting their skin and they lather their kids up in sunscreen. But sunglasses, no. So what happens is then this habit of not wearing sunglasses continues into the teenage years and then into adulthood. And unfortunately, the result of all this cumulative sun damage is red eyes, yellow spots on the eyes, and also brown and dark stained looking eyes. And parents, the $1 sunglasses that don't provide UV protection, those aren't the ones you want to put on your kids, right? I, I really talk to you know, patients that have kids and say, 
explain to your kids that they have to wear sunglasses even at a young age, even at toddler age, because that is where they learn those habits of wearing sunglasses. And believe me, they're going to resist wanting to put something on their face. My kids did the same, but you got to stick with it as a parent because your kids will thank you years later. And really quickly, just over and over using the eye drops is not a good thing because those are designed to constrict your blood vessels. They can cause rebound, make it worse. So how Absolutely. does this procedure work? Because we got our supersized eye, eye over there to show everyone how the procedure works. And I got a little scared looking at this for the first it time. It is. It, it's a scary looking <laughs> eye. So essentially, the procedure is uh, quite elegant in its simple form. It's uh, about 15 minutes per eye. And we use numbing drops so people don't have to go under general anesthesia for this. And there's three steps. So the first step is I'll map out by marking the membrane where the sun damage is. And then the second step is I'll delicately peel off the membrane like this, and then what happens is the body as a third step will regenerate a brand new membrane all by itself to cover that area, and that occurs over about a month. So it's okay to take that off, that membrane off that's causing the bloodshot eyes, and no ill effects going forward here for James other than bright white eyes? Yeah, he's had a very wonderful post-op recovery period and he looks great and continuing to go forward, it's just gonna get even better from where he's at right now. And I can't emphasize enough, this is not for someone who wakes up one day and you have bloodshot eyes because you're tired, because you did have one too many last night. This is for someone like James who suffered from a lifetime of this due to sun damage, you look great. Thank you so very much. So glad you could share your story. Dr. Thank Brian, you. thank you for being on the show. Pleasure. Yeah, pleasure.